Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about tonsillitis. The important topics are definition, its classification, its uh, severity, diagnosis, treatment and everything else. But first we have to talk about what tonsillitis is. Tonsillitis is basically an inflammation or infection of tonsils of the lymph node. Inflammation of tonsils or lymph nodes. What are tonsils? Tonsils are the lymph node present in the pharynx and the oral cavity. Okay, as we know that there is a lymphatic system in our body, so it has lymph nodes. Lymph nodes present at pharynx and our oral cavity are known as tonsils. Infection of these lymph nodes is basically known as tonsillitis. Classification of tonsillitis as we go towards the classification, it is based on application and second is based upon severity. But first we are going to talk about the classification of tonsillitis or tonsils which is on based on the location according to location there are three types of tonsils which are number one palatine tonsils number two is pharyngeal tonsils and number three is lingual tonsils okay number one palatine tonsils is known for the inflammation of the palatine tonsils palatine tonsils are located on the posterior and lateral wall of posterior and lateral wall of oropharynx okay the second is pharyngeal tonsils these pharyngeal tonsils the inflammation of these tonsils are known as pharyngeal tonsils they are located at the posterior wall of nasopharynx okay and the third one is lingual tonsils which are the inflammation of lingual tonsils it is present at the base of the tongue and uh, if its inflammation occur so it is known as lingual tonsils okay now moving towards the base uh, the classification of tonsils based on the severity so there are three types of uh, tonsils which are due to uh, the severity one is acute one the other one is subacute and the third one is the chronic one okay acute subacute and chronic number one acute acute is onset is rapid onset rapid with self-limiting action in three to four days like it starts rapidly and it's limit itself in three to four days mostly um, the causative agent are bacterias bacteria are the causative agent like streptococcus and streptococci pyrogens are involved viral are also involved like epstein bar virus and uh, it limits itself in three to four days okay the second one is subacute one subacute tonsillitis it is mostly bacterial air origin and it is more bothersome and continue for seven to eight days or more okay the chronic one is a very much complicated condition and ranges from days to even months okay 
mostly streptococcus species are involved in this and it is of bacterial origin okay now moving towards the sign and symptom of tonsillitis it is actually the pain in throat as we know that the uh, these are present in the throat area the lymph nodes are present through dysphagia difficulty in swallowing chills fever cough headache and tonsils exuate okay okay now it's time for complications of tonsillitis there are different condition in which the tonsillitis may become complicated like sinusitis it is the inflammation of sinus due to which there is a snoring effect or um, a person cannot uh, breathe properly otitis media it is the air infection which is mostly caused in tonsillitis okay Pretonasolar abscess. It is like neck pain, fever, and uh, a very bad condition. Okay, a high grade fever, and it's like lymphadenopathy is also present in this condition. Okay, retropharyngeal abscess. It is the same as like peritoneal uh, condition, with exudate of tonsils. Okay. Now glomerulonephritis, it is uh, arises from the viral tonsillitis due to antibody formations which form immune complex and this complex is deposited in the nephron. Complex deposition, okay, in nephrons as it is related to glomerulonephritis. Snoring is like uh, the sound producing during sleep. And apnea, apnea is related to disturbed sleep or no sleep because the um, patient or the person cannot breathe properly. And the prevertebral infection, the infection can be accessed to the vertebral area. Okay. Now coming towards the diagnosis, diagnoses are basically, um, they can be based on the physical examination of the lymph nodes or the tonsils. If they are swollen up, it means that the infection is present. Swollen tonsils. And secondly, uh, physical signs and symptoms like we can check the fever, cough and other symptoms which I have told you and secondly we uh, take the exudate of tonsils and check it for bacteria bacterial culture is done and the bacteria or any other infective material is checked out the treatment is of two types symptomatic treatment secondly causative treatment Symptomatic treatment is related to fever, to body pain, like NSAIDs could be given in this condition. Painkillers or antipyretics are given to relieve the headache, to relieve the fever, to relieve the pain, to relieve the chills. These conditions symptomatic treatment is done. For causative treatment, we have to check the bacterial species. And then a uh, most probable uh, medicine or antibiotic give is given. Mostly penicillins and macrolides are used. That was all for tonsillitis. Thank you so much for watching.